Brian Mudd Show is on News Radio 610 WIOD. Joel Patterson, workplace expert, joining me now with the question Should companies require employees to take the vaccine? Joel, good morning, and uh, what do you think here? Good morning. Uh, you know, it's, it's a really individual decision. I think companies got to kind of look at their own situation and, and make a, a decision. Um, a lot of people want to know, you know, is that even legal? Do you have, are, is, are companies allowed to make that decision? And there's a pretty long precedent of the answer being yes. You think about things like uh, hospitals or, or public schools, uh, whether it's a private company or, or a public company, you do have the ability to, to, uh, to mandate it. The question becomes what happens because it's going to happen when somebody says no. Yeah, and, and from what I understand, you can get fired for saying no unless you've got some religious belief that you know might opt you out of this. Maybe you've got, maybe it's a union issue that has not been negotiated, or you have a health concern that can be verified. But other than that, Joel, from what I understand, if they tell you you got to take it and you say no, you might be looking for a new job. Yeah, that's exactly the way I understand it as well. I mean, every rule is going to have some exceptions, right? So once you manage through that, um, that business really has to decide whether or not they're wor- it's, it is worth doing, you know, and requiring that, or if they just need to. Uh, uh, allow them to maybe wear a mask all day. I don't know what the other recourse would be, but certainly they're going to have to make a special case for it. As a workplace expert, what's your best advice to an employer as far as the vaccine? Do you think it would be smarter for them to just say, look, we're not going to make you, but we would really like you to do this? Do you think people would be more in tune to listening and maybe saying, all right, I'll do it, rather than you're going to do it or else? Yeah, I think the first thing you need to do is survey at least a subset of your people and find out whether or not you even have an issue. You know, you might be in a, an area where everyone's, oh, yeah, sign me up. And then, it's to, you know, are you going to pay for it? And, uh, and let's go ahead and get on the list. But, um, I, I, you know, business is really a place where you can enact a lot of change in the world. And, and um, I personally feel like if, if this is going to help the overall good, uh, and everyone feels okay about the the efficacy of it and the the science behind it. Then, yeah, I, I, I'm I'm most likely going to require it for our people. Talking to Joel Patterson, workplace expert. I mean, the reason why I pose that question like that to you, Joel, is I have three kids. I mean, 23, 20, 15, and, and I know if you tell a teenager you're doing this or else, you're going to get some pushback more than likely. But if you try to compromise with them or if you try to reason with them and make them understand, hey, look, you know, I know you're going to drink. I'd rather you not. Because this can happen, but if you do everything in moderation, you're you're gonna it's gonna be more positive. And I think the same approach can be used with this vaccine. Yeah, it's it, you know this is the year of standing up and saying no, right, and 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 letting yourself be heard. But I, I totally agree with you. It's it's gonna be it's gonna come down to how the story is told, what the benefits for the organization and for people you know and their families, what those benefits are, and making sure that's clear and simple. And, and, and hopefully we don't have to worry about too many people pushing back. But, you know, I mean, it, it is what it is. People are going to push back, and you need to make sure you've got a, a prepared response for that once it does. Well, and, and that's because this has become political like everything else. I mean, I'm watching Senate hearings right now. Almost every Democratic senator has a face mask on while they're talking. Almost every Republican does not have one on. So in your workforce, you're going to have conservatives and you're going to have liberals. I mean, and, and they've got different ideas about this mask, whether or not it's effective or not, and whether it's a sign of, okay, I'm a sheep or I'm a wolf. So you got to take that into consideration. You absolutely do. Yeah, I mean, there's there's some branding that takes place with this decision, right? And it's it's really interesting that that comes into play here. But but people will develop a an opinion of you and your organization based on how your employees are are following your COVID standard, whatever that might be. Let me ask you this last question I have for you: How long do you think it'll take before somebody is mandated to take the vaccination? They get sick. I mean, there's going to be side effects in some people. I think that that's, that's going to be a given. Let's say somebody gets extremely sick, and then they sue their employer for making them take it. You think that's a game changer? I think it will happen, and um, if, it, if it is able to be fought through the system and, and elevates, then, yeah, it could be a game changer. Let's hope that doesn't take place um, because, you know, as we all know, everybody can sue for anything, but, man, mm-hmm. We're, there's got to be some reasonableness, reasonableness brought to the conversation, and, and hopefully we can work through it. All right, Joel. Thanks for uh, stopping by the show today. Appreciate it. Take care.